if that social media is fake. Hi guys, so today I have been studying for a couple-ish hours. I think it's been like two and a half hours. Um, I started around, actually I started around 7.15 I think. So yeah, around two and a half hours, it's almost 10 o'clock now and I'm wearing Orioles gear because my lab today is going to the Orioles game. I am just a few days out from my qualifying exam and I am just so ready to be done studying. <laughs> I feel like these vlogs have just been like centered around the qualifying exam because when I do have time to like hang out with friends or do anything, which is honestly kind of rare these days, I'm just like embracing the moment and I obviously don't vlog or anything like that. The next couple days I will just be studying, including today, and it's actually on Friday and today is Wednesday. So I, if I end up passing, I will post this vlog if I don't I don't know if I will but I feel like either way it's good to kind of show the journey of studying and the ups and downs honestly this has been like an emotional roller coaster trying to study for this exam just because it's like the more you realize you know the more you realize you don't know and then you can do a practice exam and then you think you know stuff and then they find all of the holes in knowledge that you have and so it's been kind of like an emotional journey <laughs> That makes it sound so dramatic. Like I've, I've only cried like once and that was maybe three tears after the first, the first time. But the last practice exams that I've done or practice sessions, I feel like I should call them because they're not like a written exam. Um, I did okay. They weren't the best, but it definitely like found certain things that I need to brush up on. So anyway, today I'm going into the lab just briefly. I'm gonna check on my mouse colony. Then we're gonna go to the O's game, probably come home afterwards, study a little bit more, and then tomorrow is when I'm really going to try and study. But I have been trying to do some breaks between my studying. Like I don't wanna burn myself out and then Friday just be really tired. So I haven't been like pushing myself because the past month I've been studying and this just needs to be like a review time so that I'm kind of sharp for the exam but not overworked and super tired. Tomorrow I'm staying home, I'm not going into the lab, I'm just gonna treat it like a study day. Hopefully that'll help me just kind of relax more and not feel like I need to like rush place to place and that's kind of the idea because sometimes I feel like just driving to campus, I get like a little anxious. Feeling okay right now but I'm sure that the nerves will settle in closer to the exam. So I just tried this theme, this outfit I got for my qualifying exam because what are you doing if you don't get a new outfit for your exam? I think I'm going to have Joey iron it. He's actually better at ironing than I am. Pants are from Abercrombie, top is from Kohl's. I always love Kohl's for like cute work attire and um, shirts. None of their pants seem to fit me like the brands that they carry. These are the Sloan pants at Abercrombie and I am never going to get a pair of trousers anywhere else again, especially because these are the first pair of trousers I found that fit my waist well because a lot of trousers and a lot of brands carry like small, extra small, petite, and I'm not quite petite, but I'm definitely like on the shorter side. I'm 5'4". I just have a narrow waist and so this is miraculous finding a pair of trousers that fit me well. I'm very excited. They're a little bit expensive. But in my opinion, they're well worth it, and I really needed another pair of pants. Last time I was at a conference, I wore like the same pants the entire time because the other pair of pants I had didn't fit me very well. So it was a need, even though it was expensive. Today I've basically been reviewing and recalling things and just kind of quizzing myself on some material because tomorrow is my qualifying exam. The nerves are starting to kick in, so I'm feeling a little bit nervous. But I know that at this point, I know what I know. And I'm not going to learn any new information, so I'm just trying to review what I do know, trust the process. <laughs> Taking a little bit of a break now just because I feel like I'm mentally drained. Joey is coming home soon and we're going to go to the gym. And for me, that's just like the biggest de-stressor. And if I don't go to the gym, I feel like I just... I'm a disaster like I can't focus I can't feel mentally ready for something or do some sort of like physical movement physical activity so this is gonna be my outfit hopefully tomorrow when I pass I'm trying to be optimistic and it is like very rare for someone to prepare a lot and not pass I think it's just like the nerves of being in front of people that's really making me nervous and I think that I just get like very intimidated speaking in front of people which is funny because I literally post things on social media and I will post <laughs> things like talking one-on-one -on -one to people I'm fine but just something like in front of people 
grading me is just terrifying which you know is I feel like it's normal to be nervous about something like that one thing that I do want to do put like a paper feel cover on my iPad so I'm gonna get changed and I'm gonna add like a um, one of those screen protectors just because I hate like the little tip tap sounds of my little pencil on my iPad and I need to take notes next week in a seminar and I don't want it to be audibly tapping my screen I just feel like that's embarrassing okay so this is the paper feel screen protector that I got and um, it basically reduces the glare, the smudges, and the tapping sound. So it's more like you're writing on paper on your iPad. And I use my iPad so much for school, for writing notes, literally everything. But I don't like writing in public because I feel like it sounds really loud tapping the screen. So I was using my iPad today and I was like, I don't know why I haven't put this on yet. So I'm going to put this on today. It looks pretty simple, but I just have commitment problems, so I am always like nervous to put <laughs> something on my iPad, even though I know it's better for the screen anyway. Also, like I hate how gross and grimy the screen gets, but I hope this comes with like a, I hope it comes with a cleaner. Is that what it's called? I hope it comes with one of those little sham things. Oh, this is not sponsored or anything. I just, I just want to use it. I'm actually really late to the party. I feel like everyone else used these and I got it last year and I still didn't use it. So, okay, I'll be back. I learned my lesson. I suck at putting screen protectors on apparently. It's so nice. I do love it, but the thing is is that I think I just I'm terrible at putting on screen protectors because there's this bubble here it's gonna bother me till the day I die if I don't fix that so oh it looks like there might be a fuzz in it <sighs> that's not that's not gonna be able to stay there I'm gonna need to fix that but anyway I like that but that was a painful journey we're off to the gym I'm in my grout fit area area <laughs> you got me saying that no we're, we're in our grout fit era Hi vlog! Hi Pat! <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, someone's looking at me. Very excited. We just did pictures. I passed my qualifying exam. She's Very did happy. amazing! 